Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you guys here. And today I thought we'd take a look at some of the stuff that I got from Black Friday. I went shopping the other day in Virginia, went to the mall and uh, got a bunch of stuff. And uh, <laughs> it's actually kind of covering this entire area. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but we're gonna try. So I think the first thing that we can start with is probably the pop vinyls. So let's go ahead and get into that. So the first one here is Patrick Star. I actually almost didn't see this little dude. I was getting SpongeBob, which is also somewhere in this collection. I gotta find it somewhere over here. I'll show you it to, to you in a second. Um, but I got the SpongeBob one, and then I went up to the counter. I'm like, damn, I didn't get the Patrick one. And then all of a sudden, she's like, hey, we also have the Patrick one. Well, lady, put it in the bag. Here's the SpongeBob one, and it kind of, have you guys ever, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, um, the dick in a box thing. It kind of looks like SpongeBob's doing that here. It's a very, I don't know why they decided, to, <laughs> out of all the things they could have done, especially because they've had a ton of SpongeBob Christmas episodes, they literally could have done anything. And they're like, you know what? Dick in a box SpongeBob sounds pretty good to me. This next one up here is the Grinch. It's a box lunch exclusive and it's flopped. Like I said, we didn't get anything too crazy, but I thought this would be pretty cool to put up there, especially unboxed because, you know, he's holding the little turkey, the little gimmick right here. And he's flocked, which is always really cool. So so that was pretty much it for the Christmas pops because I have a ton coming in from Funko Shop. Like I said, I was just looking for commons to fill up the riser, uh, but we have a ton of other pops. So let's go ahead and show you those two. First one up here is the Arbiter from Halo. I already have the Master Chief with Energy Sword and I just wanted to get the Arbiter. I think there's actually a different variation of the Arbiter. Um, I don't, I don't really know too much about the Halo pop vinyls. Um, I've kind of fallen out of Halo since Halo 3, but uh, you know, the Arbiter's always been one of my favorites and Sergeant Johnson, of course. Th th this whole wave of Halo pop vinyls is, is actually really, really neat. Um, I want to get Sergeant Johnson, you know, that's my boy. He, he knows what the ladies like. I picked up this Hannibal Lecter. I think I'm going to display this one out of the box too. I just got it because it looks like the box is kind of beat up a little bit. Um, but since I'm going to be displaying it out of box anyways, I have a lot of common horror pops that I display out of box. I also have a lot of expensive horror pops that I do not take out of the box, like Captain Spaulding and things like that. But, you know, sometimes it's fun to take them out of the box to put them in the risers. I was not a big out of box fan until I got the risers. The acrylic <laughs> risers changed the game forever. Uh, and I like putting the commons out there. And this is this is definitely one of the cooler commons. I got the duo here. Tommy Boy, one of my favorite movies of all time here. We got Lil Richard and Tommy. I was looking for Tommy in a little coat and they didn't have it anywhere. So I'll probably have to order it offline because, you know, bad guy in a little cone. It's iconic, man. You got to get that one. Pulling up the rear for the horror pop vinyls is my man, Jason Voorhees. This is going to be the one, one of the ones that I display out of the box also. Um, I got a few of these coming. I think I have part four Jason and Baghead Jason. My Walgreens didn't have Baghead Jason, so I had to order it. Um, but I think I have a couple of those coming. And I'll probably display them all out of box. I don't think um, the only like Jason that would probably keep in the box is is the one where he's unmasked because that was like 500 bucks. Um, I, but the Freddy's a little different because I got Freddy's syringe fingers and I kept him in the box just because Dream Warriors is my favorite uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movie and I wanted to keep that one in the box. Um, but I have a couple Freddy ones that I keep outside the box too. So, um, but yeah, this Jason is definitely going to be kept outside the box. I'm going to put him with the rest of my horrors that I uh, the commons at least that's that I keep on the risers. Now I ended up picking up two Mulans because first off, Mulan is the only Disney princess, and two, my sister is a huge fan of Mulan, so I thought I would pick up one for me and one for my sister for Christmas. Shh, nobody tell her. You can kind of tell there, um, but she's a little glistening. She gets a little glizzle, glizzle. And I found this flounder also who has the same diamond texture. My my cousin's a huge fan of the Little Mermaid, so uh, I think this will be really neat for her. So that's it for the pop vinyls. Now we can move on to the other stuff I got, including this little man right here, Melly Otis from Seven Deadly Sins. I saw this little plush hanging out in uh, Fye, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll pick this up. He's pretty cool. I can dig it. So I got a ton of horror stuff too. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the. Um, uh, I don't even know if I'm saying this right. Um, the Neca Toys N E C A. Uh, but I've been collecting a few of them recently, more more so the Nightmare on Elm Street stuff. Um, but FYE had a ton of them, and I really enjoy the figures. The only thing I don't like about them is sometimes they can be a pain in the ass to stand up, and the stands just don't work very well most of the time, the, like the aftermarket stands that you buy. I guess technically I can make my own stands, but they're like $20, $30. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to get that far. Anyways, here's one of them that I got here, Chucky, and he, I had to get this one. I, I was going to pass on it but it has the good guys box that comes with it. That's just, I love it so much. I had, I had to put it in the bag. So along with Chucky, we got a few more here. We have Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street 5. My man, serving it up, Freddy style. 
Look at this dude. I cannot believe that they had this. So I had to pick this one up too. Nightmare on Elm Street is one of my favorite horror franchises. And uh, of course I had to get this one too. This is my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street. Dream Warriors. It even comes with the little house, the light up Elm Street replica house. Look at it. And he's in the little set. And I think this is the last bit of horror stuff here. Um, but the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This one's crazy. So this is, these are the boxes I usually get. Um, where you can kind of open it up like that and see everything. Um, but the toys come with, uh, most of the time they come with replacement stuff, depending on, you know, which ones you got. Uh, this one's got like the different chainsaw and the different head and things you can use like that uh, to kind of set up a, you can kind of set up a little area for them if you want. They actually have dioramas that you can buy and put them in. I think there's one for Leatherface somewhere. Um, but I, this was, I almost didn't see this one. So while we were in Box Lunch, of course, Box Lunch has a big section for anime stuff. And I found this little figure right here, Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose. It's a Ban Presto prize figure. So I'm going to put that over there with the rest of my prize figures. Uh, back here, I kind of put just Grandistas and like DC Bus and things like that or scaled figures or, you know, just things that are a little bigger than, than your average prize figure or a little more expensive is what I put on the shelf behind me. Uh, I have a whole shelf for prize figures. So I'll put this Goku Black over there. I've been waiting to pick one up. So that's nice. And I've been, I'm, I'm kind of waiting for the manga dimensions, Ban Presto Grandista for Goku Black. So I'm, you know, can put them back here somewhere. So I'm going to wait for that to come out uh, and then grab that and put that back here. But for now, this will add a super sweet section to the prize figure case. And speaking of big figures, while I was in box lunch, I also saw this and had to pick it up for one reason and one reason only. Super Saiyan Blue Goku with the classic Goku pose. So now this could go behind me because I think this is on the side. I think it has something like a... Yeah, right there on the side, it's 24 centimeters. So this is like a, a little bit over nine inches, I believe. So this could definitely go behind me. And the classic Goku pose is what got me. You barely see this man bring this pose out anymore. But when he does it, it's always a hype moment. I really like, that's one of my, this is one of my favorite. This is like one of my most memorable things. Like when I think of Goku, I always think of him in this pose. Like this is classic Goku pose to me. I thought it was so cool to find one in Super Saiyan Blue and it's a big figure. And you know, Ban Presto is, the, the Dragon Ball Z Ban Presto stuff is literally like on the same quality as most scale figures. They have gotten like this, <laughs> they have gotten the Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super and Dragon, just Dragon Ball in general, Goku. They've gotten it down to like a science. The, these Ban Presto figures are like scale quality uh, for cheaper price stuff. So I mean, if you're ever looking for Dragon Ball Z stuff, Bam Presto has got you hooked up. Now, of course, with anime stuff, you also have to get some manga stuff. I went into Barnes and Noble and they have a whole like section for manga, which was really cool. So I had to pick up a ton of books. So let's go ahead and I'll show you everything that we got there. The first one is Dragon Ball. That time I got reincarnated as Yamcha. And let me tell you what this book is about. I wasn't going to pick it up at first and then I read the back of it. A Dragon Ball's fan's greatest dream is getting to live in the Dragon Ball universe and fight alongside Goku and his friends. One particular fan thinks he's living the dream when he suddenly dies and is reborn in the Dragon Ball world, but he's in for a rude awakening when he realizes he's been reincarnated as everyone's favorite punching bag, Yamcha. Are you kidding me? Have we gotten to the point? I did not even like, I, we, you know, the fan base calls Yamcha the punching bag. The fan base does, but to see it on an officially licensed Dragon Ball book is, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. I also got to pick up Boruto 3 and 4. I already have one and two, so I can add these two to the collection and get to read those. I found a Miku manga, so you know I had to pick this up. Uh, <laughs> the The idea of it's pretty crazy. So like they, there's the girl and the robot and they like search around the world for Miku. Uh, but she's like taking the form of like a billion different things, which is, you know, classic Miku. So uh, I just thought I would pick this up and, and see what it's all about. It's from Dark Horse and Dark Horse usually publishes pretty good stuff. So I thought I would just check it out. This is one of my sleeper hits. I don't know if you guys have ever watched this, but I saw this on Netflix a while back and uh, this was fantastic. The Devil is a Part Timer is what it's called. This is the light novel. So this is I think they have a manga adaptation. Uh, but this is the light novel version. I just wanted to read a little bit more. It's just number one. I'll see if I enjoy it, enjoy the light novel. I'll probably pick up the manga number one also to kind of see, kind of compare the two and see how they are. Um, but this was a sleeper hit for me. If you guys have not seen this show or read it, uh, I would probably recommend picking it up just because I think you would enjoy it a lot. My man's working at the McRonald's, okay? It's crazy out here. I also got one of the thickest Dragon Ball mangas I've ever gotten. <laughs> this thing is crazy. This is one of the big editions from Viz Media. Uh, and I mean, this guy is crazy. So there's actually, let me, um, 
let me flip to the back for you guys. There's, there's like Dragon Ball Z is cool, but there is just something just so, I don't know. There, there's something so incredible about the original Dragon Ball art and just the way that everything is is drawn, and it, it's honestly incredible. I, I don't. It's just so. It's just so different. It's just so different. I mean, especially even a Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, like the designs and the way that they they, they structured the characters and just it's so original. And I I kind of wish the Dragon Ball Z would have kept some of the the, the fun and and whimsical things about uh, Dragon Ball. It kind of went super super serious, super quick. Um, I actually think that uh, they're making a Van Presto is making a figure of the Milk Run Goku, uh, which is pretty neat, but. Some of the stuff from the original Dragon Ball is just, it's just super iconic. I mean, it, it, it's incredible. Look, like, look at this with the heavy lines and stuff. I mean, like, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's just magical. And then the last, it's not even a manga really, but it kind of has to do with the manga. I had to get this. Uh, it is the complete art of Full Metal Alchemist. It's just a big hardcover art book. And I'm going to flip through and show you guys some of it real quick um, because it's really, really neat. It's all colored artwork and stuff like that. And I thought I would just pick this up because I'm a huge fan of Full Metal. It's one of my favorite series of all time. And uh, some of the artwork in here was just absolutely incredible. I mean, look at this, man. Like, I love this kind of stuff. If they had, uh, they didn't have one for Dragon Ball, they might have one, like the original Dragon Ball. Um, but I, I would pick it up if they did. Um, as you can see on the, on the, well, I guess this is on your left if you're watching the video, but they got the Christmas, <laughs> like Edward stuff. Like that's really, I thought that was really neat. I was flipping through it and I was like, this is a really, this is like a really neat book here. Um, but they got a bunch of different stuff in here and, and it, it really covers pretty much the entirety of the show, uh, and, and really goes through a bunch of stuff and even has stuff like, you know, they're playing cards and things like that. I don't know. I just like stuff like this. So this was like a hardcover book from Viz Media. It's like a, the complete art of Full Metal Alchemist. And I thought I would just pick it up. It's a really nice book and it's got a bunch of fun stuff in it. Now for the final thing that I got on Black Friday, I picked up some vans. Uh, let me let me get them out the box and show them to you guys. So this is one of the colorways that I got. I ended up getting two pairs because if you bought over $100 of stuff on Black Friday, you got $50 to spend later, which is like almost a whole new pair of vans. So I was like, it's almost like a buy two, get one free kind of thing. Um, so this is one of the colorways that I got. I ended up going a half size up. I tried them on. These are old schools, by the way. Uh, I tried them on and they, they were kind of tight at, at your true to size. So I decided to go a half size up. They don't slide off the heel any, so I was fine with it. We'll kind of see if they stretch or anything. Last time I owned vans, I don't remember them stretching at all. So um, they're pretty hard, you know, like these shoes are, <laughs> they're kind of like Converse's in that way. Like they are just straight up like a, a tank of a shoe. But uh, this is one of the colorways I got and I'll show you guys the other one. Of course, and I had to get, you know, just get the classic black and white colorway for the old schools, you know. So I decided to get the green and the black. And like I said, just kind of like a two, buy two, get one free almost kind of thing. You know, $10 for a third pair of vans ain't really bad. So I uh, ended up getting a deal on that. I also ended up getting a deal on socks, which, you know, I always need some socks. Your classic van socks. And then he's right here, the skeleton doing this. And I had to pick those up, dude. Like, that's, that was pretty neat. It was like buy one, get one 50% off or something. So I was like, ah, whatever, throw some socks in there. I need some van socks anyway, so that'll do. And now I don't know if you classify this as Black Friday, but it came in the mail on Black Friday. And it was a, it was a Thanksgiving Black Friday drop. So I guess you can kind of classify it as that. But I got some things, uh, some retro gaming stuff that I thought I would show you guys. Uh, this is Pokemon Red. This is the Japanese release. It's complete in box. So it's got the box, the original box and everything uh, with the game and all that kind of stuff. I actually loaded this up in my Game Boy and someone left their save file on it, which I thought was really neat. So I think I'm gonna try to beat the game with their save file, make them Pokemon champions. I don't want to throw away their Pokemon. They spent a lot of time on it. Um, so Pokemon that, and then we have Pokemon Snap. This is the Japanese release for the N64 also. Um, a lot, apparently people don't like this game. I, d <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, I was always a big fan of Pokemon Snap. Like it's like a rail shooter, but with a camera. And it's something that like I played back in the day at my cousin's house all the time. Like they just had, I didn't have Pokemon Snap. So like I had to go over there to play it. And I just, I, I don't know. I thought it was fun. Apparently people do not like Pokemon Snap. Did not know that information, but uh, apparently. Now this is the Game Boy that I got. It's a custom Game Boy. So uh, as you can see, it's transparent all the way throughout. Um, it's got like a 3.5 jack underneath right here for sound and things like that. Um, it's blue on the that I'll, I'll try to get it closer for you guys so you can see it. Uh, it's a really nice Game Boy. 
uh, when you turn it on, it actually has a light mod. So you turn it on and the screen's lit up because the original Game Boy doesn't have that. If you guys remember back in the day, you had to put the little stringy light. You had to like plug it into the USB on the side here and then string the light over the screen. Um, but you don't have to do that with this one because it's got the lit up screen and things like that. So uh, this was a really cool purchase. And I almost forgot, I got this on sale for $14.99. One of the best Disney movies ever. Hocus Pocus, man. I kind of wish Halloween was still around. I miss Halloween already. That's like one of my favorite times of the year. Halloween is just too lit. So that was my Black Friday shop in there. That's the first time I think that I've ever actually went out shopping for Black Friday. Most of the time I just get stuff online, uh, but my friend invited me and of course I had to check it out and see what it was all about. Um, but I got a bunch of really cool stuff. So if you guys want to tell me in the comments what your favorite thing out of everything was, or if you guys went Black Friday shopping, uh, especially if you're a collector and you picked up anything that you uh, had your eye on for a while or anything like that. I always love hearing about that kind of stuff. As a collector, I love seeing other people's collections too. Um, so of course, sharing that with me is always super appreciated. Leaving a thumbs up and a great way to show your support. Uh, if you guys are not part of the team already and you want to be, I want you here. You want to be here. Come on, hit the subscribe button. You know you want to. And uh, I will see you guys uh, sometime again here soon, hopefully. So anyways, have a good rest of your day. And if I don't see you guys before Christmas, of course, Merry Christmas to you and all that kind of stuff. Just don't eat too much, especially none of that turkey. Don't be eating the turkey, man. There ain't nothing for you. That's some dry meat, man. Leave the turkey alone. Just get, cook a steak. Just go out, buy a steak, cook it. Medium rare, nothing more, nothing less. Call it a day. It's a good Christmas meat. All right, guys. See